Hey, this is Runamout saying the following video is not for 13 or under. Remember, you gotta be 13 or older to watch some of this stuff. Anyway, on with the review. Hey guys, Masterfar here, and welcome back to part two of my 100 sub special of Iron Strand Starblade. And today we're going to continue looking at it after we looked at the jet and that robot mode. And as you remember, we left on pretty good terms with this figure so far. So let's continue with the V Star and the big rogue mode, starting with the V Star. So let's get on to the old gym map and see how cool the rest of this is. Starting off back in the V-Star mode, I can even say it still looks pretty cool even without the jet. Yes, they have that gaping hole in the front and that problem which will not be named, but it's still a really impressive looking design overall. A few flaws I have is the landing gear don't really like to stay out, specifically in the front, and there's still a little bit of wibbliness, like some things just pop out. Also, you have the helmet area right here just pops out still. But other than that, it's still a really cool looking jet, and I'm really happy with it. It's like they took the original design and just amped it up by 11. Now for the sake of comparison, here he is with Runabout, Hound, and of course, the original MP. And I gotta say that with these two next to each other, they really do feel like night and day. Especially considering how one's more anime accurate, and again, the other one's just amped up by 11. One more thing you can do in this mode is by taking a smaller robot, it can actually ride on the V-Star itself. And I gotta say, this looks really cool, and he's actually done it in the anime, which is even nicer for the sake of reference. But yeah, overall, this mode, with its flaws, is still pretty cool. It's not as good as, say, the jet robot, but it's still really cool. Anyways, on to transformation. Overall, transformation for this guy is pretty complex but intuitive. And I gotta say, the uh, resulting robot mode, which I am calling the base mode, you'll find out why later, is holy crap, this is impressive. I mean, just the molding itself on this guy is just impeccable. Like, it may even beat out the masterpiece. In fact, it probably does in a lot of aspects. Like, the chest, like the rich reds on the chest especially. But just look at this thing. Like, it kind of doesn't even look like it should transform. It looks more like a flame toys deal. And uh, the head sculpt, that's my biggest problem with the looks. It's kind of small, like a little too small. I mean, I know it's like the main robot mode head, but still it should be a little bigger. Well, luckily he comes with a few accessories. The first being his head, which as you can see here, just pops on there and really fits the look. Though I do have a problem with it that it doesn't really stay on there, like some of the little robots still showing. As for other accessories, he comes with his saber blade, an extension for the saber blade, and his gun. Also, the mini saber blade can be held in this mode, but it's kind of more of a dagger, and it still looks cool, but kind of comical. I'm a brave boy. Fatality. Not a brave enough boy for this! But yeah, as for articulation, head can move up this much, look down this much, and rotate 360 degrees, and the antenna can move. Shoulders rotate 360 degrees, and the arms can go out, but first, you gotta move it like this, otherwise it will snap off. And we'll get to that, we'll get to that. Anyway, they get about 90 degrees right here, moving them back down. Arms can swivel 360 degrees, but it is very tight, like dangerously so. Arms can move out a little for a bit of a better sword looking pose. Elbows can bend over 90 degrees, wrist swivel, and all the fingers are posable on thumbs and hinges right here so you can get like a live long and prosper look. The waist can rotate 360 degrees right here and it is a little tight to get around but it is doable and there's also an ab crunch back here and an ab crunch back here. The hip flaps right here on the sides can move up and the ones in the front can also move and are on ball joints.
and that allows the legs to do a beautiful spread. The hips can rotate a good 360 degrees, and the legs themselves can also do the same down here. Legs can't really move back that far, but they go out well over 90 degrees and then over his head. And the knees themselves are also double jointed. As for the feet, there's no swivel right here or ankle tilt, but the toes are poseable. Now, overall, articulation on this guy is awesome. Like, he can get a ton of poses and he's very articulate. He's probably the most articulate figure in my whole collection, as a matter of fact. Now, you're probably all thinking the same thing. I love this figure. Like, this is the greatest figure in my collection. Even better than, say, Earthrise Optimus Prime or, I don't know, like, Super Megatron or anything like that. Well, you're wrong. You are so wrong. This is not my favorite figure in my collection. In fact, it kind of makes me angry in some regards. And... I can't believe it had to come to this, but it's our old friend from part one, Part Leprosy. Yeah, that's right. Part Leprosy is back, people. And it's way worse than it was in the little robot. Now, if you're wondering what exactly Part Leprosy is, go watch part one. But what I mean by that is just stuff just falls off this thing all the time, like take a look at the waist itself I had to do several takes because this piece and this piece just come off like it's not even funny how easy it is and you know initially because during house one's much tighter I thought you know maybe it's like a, a gimmick you know like MP Beast Wars Megatron he had the removable armor bits but no this piece glued right and shut and these aren't the only things that popped off. As a matter of fact, this hand has popped off. Like so, like I'm not even forcing it off. It just pops off like that. Uh, I've had the whole foot come out while transforming this thing. I've had, oh, and you know what? We're gonna get to it now. We are going to get to it now. Now, I got this guy as a birthday present and funny enough, this is my second copy because on my first copy, not knowing how the arms were supposed to work, they just popped off like this. It is on these little tiny clips, and I didn't know because it's just, Jesus Christ, like, I'm even worried to kind of do it now on camera because I have bad luck on camera with figures, but holy crap, like, the arm, like, it's all because of how it transformed. It, like, accordions up like this instead of just doing what the masterpiece does. Now, as you can see here, the masterpiece, it's just folded up during transformation and bam, that's it. Not this overly engineered, part leprosy written mess. And I, I was just so disappointed when it broke. I was angry when it broke, cause I love this character and I hate to be getting so negative now, but, but yeah. Getting all that put back on, here he is next to Runabout, Hound, and of course, the original MP. And I gotta say, this figure leaves a very bitter taste in my mouth, especially because it's so well articulated and everything. And even next to the MP, as you can see, it looks better in some regards, but it's just overdone and just way too complex. Okay, now quick update. I just wanted to say, for all those part leprosy ridden parts, I completely took care of them with a little bit of super glue, so yeah. Now that I've fixed that, I can safely say this figure is glorious. Like, beautiful. The articulation is astounding. The proportions are godly, but uh, I can't gush, and you'll see why. But enough of that, on to my final thoughts. Now, overall, after all of that, with the jet and the V-Star and everything combined, I would give this guy a 10 out of 10, actually, but unfortunately, because I had to super glue and mod it to get that score, it's being bumped down to a 6, because this guy does have his issues that you need to fix, but once you fix them, it's an incredible piece, actually. Like, I love this thing now. Uh, but yeah, you can get him at TF Source. Thank you at TF Source once again for getting me my second one. 
But yeah, that's about it. This is Master Far signing off, saying, hope you stay on for 200 subs, and I will see you next time with another video. Thank you.